people want to get into a car that there's mm. no destination. Does he have a vision? Mm. Does he have a vision? Mm. Sincerely, then it didn't look like um, he had it all together. We all don't look like it. Yes, yes. But <laughs> at, least, <laughs> at least at the early stage. <laughs> yeah, but almost 13 years down the line, mm. I can confidently it's say beginning to look I'm like glad it. I made that. But how exactly okay. were you able to identify this vision mm. and this focus? Because, you know, it can sound so vague. And there's someone saying, I'm looking for vision what, what and focus. Really, where, you know? where is it on the inside of him? How do you identify this stuff? Hmm. Well, we did a lot of talking. Okay. A lot of talking rather than um, fisting and going to mm. the gigs and the cinemas and all that. We did a lot of talking. So, from the talk, I was able to see information that mm -hmm. were very important and necessary to me. Mm. Like every conversation, like you know, they tell you a bit of everything you would meet tomorrow, you would see traces mm. today. Mm. So, I, I, I was quite sensitive trying to, you know, read in between the lines, see, okay. What is the notion behind or beneath this statement, That's this right. sentence? What drives him? Yes, exactly. what drives him. Okay, and let's come to Mr. Chilaka a bit. <laughs> is there even any, any such thing as Mr. Wright and Mrs. Wright in the first place? Mm. Oh, Mr. Wright, Miss Wright. I think it's um, perception. Mm. Um, it, it's... Um, it's it's the name you give to your child that your child bears. If you have a, a, a dog and you give it any name, that's the name of the dog. So when you're talking about perfection, Mr. Wright, I don't think there is anybody that is Mr. Wright or Miss Wright. Mm. What I believe is that it's two different people, ideologies, mind frame, coming together to look at each other and say, this car is broken down. Can we? put our efforts together to push it to the next level. Mm. So, and once the two of you are in agreement with that, then you begin to realize that, okay, we can live together. Okay. We can do a lot of things together. But like she said, there has to be communication. Mm. You have to ask questions, questions, questions. Ask questions until you get tired of questioning the mm. person. Mm. But the truth is, a lot of people today don't ask questions. You're dating somebody for five years. You don't even know jack about that person. Because it's either you're jumping from Mr. Biggs to Tantaliza, mm. to one eatery or the other, to one movie. So the, the, the whole thing that helps you to find out whether that person is right for you or not is lost. Mm. So as long as people fail to follow those nitty gritties, you can't say anybody's Mr. Right or Mr. So right. So talking like having... Should, should we turn it intellectual talk? What kind of talk, really, are we talking about here? Yeah. Okay. First and foremost, I always tell people, I say, um, you don't talk to somebody you love. Hmm. You talk more with your friend. You open up more to a friend than you open to That's love. True. Hmm. Love is like, is a mystery. It's shredded in mystery. But friendship, you, you need to grow to a point where you look at the person and say, Tony, leave that thing. Uh, Mm. Mary, forget it. When you begin to use first names, mm. nicknames, mm. you started. Mm. Then you can ask questions. What do you do? Where are you from? Where do you work? I want to see your certificate. Mm. Mm. I want to see your letter of employment. Mm. I want to know where you're from, your family background. Ask questions. These questions help you to understand this person, to know whether this person is sincere or not. So you, you don't have, it, it's, not a, it's not going to be a stereotype kind of question, but question that just flows naturally. You just ask mm -hmm. them, you know, you must have a relationship where you can say anything to one another. You know, I've heard someone say that all you need to do to get it right is marry your friend. Mm. And if you can get someone who's a friend, but, but, but let's drag back a little bit and I'm also, there's a lot of things running in my mind at mm -hmm. the same time, but then don't you think that the issue of marriage is also being overrated in the sense that sometimes they just say, oh, get married, 
oh, it's good to be married. Two are better than one. But then you find out that we have not also been able to explore our potentials as singles. People have not been able to define their dreams and live it. People have not been able to identify their purpose and manifest it. People have not even, you know, taken advantage of that single life as it were. What would you say are those things that a single person should do or should have achieved before considering marriage? Well, I think to be very sincere, you need to be complete. Mm. If I should put it in that term. You as a person, yes. first of all. You need to be complete. You need to love yourself. You need to be comfortable in yourself. Mm. I mean, if I'm home for 24 hours, mm. am I the type that's always looking for where to go to, who, who to, to go with. to, to talk mm. to? You, you, you're already a clingy, clingy person. You're not whole on your own. Mm. Now, if you get into marriage with someone else that is exactly that mm. way, imagine, catastrophe. They're going to be over-dependent on each other. it will be terrible. And you know, if I have, if I, I have friends, that are like that it's creepy mm. do you understand it can get really imagine you have to deal with that really for enough. life it, it can be, be. Like, i know that feeling mm. I'm great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I, I would say this i just want to add this that the only time you're selfish is when you're still single mm. Mm. you need to as a single person love yourself to a fault mm. 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 you need to have a job Mm. You need to have a career. Yeah. You need to be busy. Oh, yeah. you, don't just, you, you don't just sit down, you know, uh, you wake up every morning to take a shower is a problem. You're just tying a towel around your waist, walking around the whole place, mm. and then tomorrow you not say you want to marry. Mm. It, you know, it, it's like it. bondage. You know, I, I think ladies are more at fault, you know, here. A lot of women, sort of, I don't know whether it's, it's an upbringing thing, they look at marriage as what completes them mm. as an individual. Mm. You know, mm. you, you must get mm. married for you to get that validation, mm. you know, that, that now makes you a true woman. No, women, a lot of women. No, no, no. women don't look at marriage. Women concentrate on the wedding. For the wedding, for getting that there's life after. And then, you know, our society is becoming so, so terrible where if a lady is 28, mm. 29, 30, oh, she's like, oh, my friends God. are... Look, forget In how fact, many... By the time you are 30, all the alarms... No, no, so no, no let me say, I said, I said this with all sense of responsibility. Mm. Forget how many marriages you see every Saturday. Mm. Forget how many of your friends are married. Mm. Ask yourself... How many of these marriages are working? Are working? How many of them are happy? Mm. How many then, of them then say to yourself, what do you really want? If you want to be happy in your marriage, there are a lot of things you need to do. It doesn't, you know, the Ibos would say, it is when you wake up that your day starts. Mm. <laughs> and I believe so much in that. When you wake up, that is when your day starts. So mm. a lot of ladies should forget this whole thing about age. Age. It's like if you if we put age in front of us, a lot of people will not go to school because you say you're 28. I can't start secondary school. No, but a lot of people at 30, 40 are still going to school because they have a vision for tomorrow. Okay. So a woman should be somebody who has um, she must she must be educated. She must have something to do it. I don't believe. I don't support the fact that a woman should be idle. Mm. And then you're going into marriage. And that's why a lot of wet marriages are failing. Mm. Because the man all of a sudden realizes that, okay, when you were dating, he would do anything for you. Mm. Trust men. Mm. He'll take you to, to, to mm. Charlotte and buy you Hilton. Mm. It's a normal <laughs> talk, yes. But once you have gotten into that state marriage, of marriage, yeah. it, there's a thin line. Then you face the reality. Yeah. The reality is that the man who ordinarily gives you 10,000 every day for lunch, Already is thinking for himself, mm. thinking for you now, and thinking for the baby that is coming. Yeah. Mm. So a lot of things have to fall into perspective. There's so more pressure so the women the too must begin to think like men. Mm. Men love with their head. Mm. Women love with their, with their heart. heart. Okay, but then is it okay to have standards? Yeah, it should. Yeah. Mm. should be I mean, I mean, I, 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 obviously, I mean, we all have standards. Mm. Um, it's not just about monetary standards, but everything about life. We should have a standard. When we talk about standards, for instance, uh, uh, let's break it down a little bit to 
physiques and appearances. For instance, there's a guy who loves uh, 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 tall ladies or perhaps heaps, mm. lips and fingertips mm. and all of that. But then, you, is it also important that we uh, begin to lower the standard that are physical for certain standards that are higher? You know, she mentioned the character on the inside. Mm -hmm. It's possible for you to find someone who's got that lovely character, but who doesn't just appear like the figure that you have kept in your mind okay. forever. Mm. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I so want not quotes. Uh, no, 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 no. There is nobody that is ugly. <laughs> okay. <I'm> because <laughs> because we, every one of us here, mm. we did not create ourselves. Mm. The moment you say somebody is ugly, you're mm. telling that person that God is ugly. Mm. And beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> nobody is ugly. Let's start from there. Okay. okay. Um, when people say, I like tall, I like this, I like that, and I ask myself, you could marry somebody that has all that. Mm. If she has an accident tomorrow, mm. what happens? If it is the legs you love, and then in the course of the accident, she cracks the leg and has to use crutches. So what happens? You must be prepared emotionally, mm. physically, financially, socially. Socially, like she said before. I mean, you don't. It, it, it's 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 weird for two introverts to get married. Mm. Okay, mm -hmm. it is weird. Mm. Oh, Jesus. It's gonna be boring, right? As in, so you need to blend. It's like it's like people saying somebody that has AS marrying an AS, and you say it's love, it's stupidity. Mm. There is nothing like love about it. Because when the crisis starts, mm. love will jump out of That's right. the window. But are we saying that Luke is not relevant? Let me ask the lady. Mm. Your husband, for instance, is this someone who just had the focus and the vision you talked about and who doesn't look like the <laughs> guy that, like you, that you are proud to go out with? Because we must not yes. also relegate that appearance. Yes. That's it's also important. What do you well, think? Well, the truth is that we can't relegate appearance. Uh -huh. That's being sincere mm. and straightforward uh -huh. down to earth. We really can't. But I think what I would say is, yes, we can have standards, but don't be too strict. Mm, too strict. It must mm. be like this, because sometimes you can, you, can play, yeah, yeah. you can play, yeah, you can play around with mm. things, you know? Mm. Just be free. Don't be rigid. Don't be rigid. That's the word. Okay, it's not eight inches, but at least it's 7.5. Yes, don't and be rigid. Six. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, too, All right, maybe he doesn't have those broad shoulders. Yeah. We have a six pack. Uh, All right, so, you know, take it easy. But you might be lovely. You know, in, in, in like I said, beauty, beauty is what I've also discovered uh -huh. is that when we talk about ugly, mm. I have also seen people who do not necessarily look beautiful before marriage. Mm. But then the partner yeah. was able to make that that's another thing. thing. That's that's another thing. Yeah, that's just, another just, thing. You just begin to ask yourself, really? But, so so but, you, but you know that when two people live for too long, they begin to so, like, mm. look alike. Yes, people look alike. Yeah. 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 Yes. So it happens a lot. I mean, it's the duty of the woman, sorry. It's the duty of the woman to package the man. Mm. Mm. And also for the man. The other way around. Right. No, 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 it starts with the woman. Okay. Really? Women are more conscious of look than men. Okay. Mm. Yes. Because. But we're back to differ. Yeah. I want to I want to differ. I want to Let me put it this way. Okay. If you put two men here now, mm. they're not looking too good and all of that, and you put two ladies not looking too good, the man would say to himself, I can touch her up. Mm. It's a psychic of men. Mm. I can touch her up. Mm. But the woman, the woman does not see her touching the man up. Anything touching up about him. <laughs> if it's not good looking, it's uh, not So that's it. So that's what you mean. Yes. So from that, talk about identifying or considering looks. I think men... Men are the ones who actually look at the woman's physical endowments, you know, to say whether she's beautiful yeah. or not. So I think men are really into who owns the home. A woman owns the home. Good. I mean, that's unagreeable. <laughs> a woman owns the home. We know that. But when it comes to looks, I think a, a woman can even date a man 
Yes. In court, it's ugly. Yes. Yes. The women in Nigeria are so patient. Yes. But when the, the woman brings, when the guy brings the woman out, you'll be feeling proud. This is my wife. This is my wife. The sexiness in, in being ugly, if you are a rugged kind of ugly. Are you also, yes. 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 Are you also aware that ladies are more concerned about how Pepe. much cash you carry? Yes. And that tells how how some guys. And actually, now and days, yes. women should be should be concerned about that because there has security. to be some sort of financial security yeah. for every woman. Yeah. I love that. That is my view. I love that. that yeah. Having said that, why were people in the Why is the financial background of whom you're marrying? You know, should hey. you consider that recently? Yes. The social media was agog mm. when a highly respected religious figure <laughs> had a meeting with young people <laughs> and said that you, you must not marry a man who doesn't have a job. Yeah. You must not also marry a woman who, who pray. doesn't know how to who cook pray. and who cannot pray for an hour. So let's take it one after the other. She hour. said, marry a man who doesn't have a job. Let's I mean, break it down. The financial background. The financial background. Yeah. Of, of, mm. of, is it worth considering? I, I think, I think we're, 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 we're laying a lot of emphasis on finance. A lot of women today are laying a lot of emphasis on finance. Money. Yeah, money. And it's affecting marriages. Mm. A man that is educated, a man that has a vision, a man that has a driving force, he may not have a job today, mm. but we know he has everything it takes to get a job. It is time he will get that job. Okay. Now, marriage goes beyond money. It goes beyond looks. Mm. It is two people mm. who have looked at the whole world and said to themselves, we can live under one roof. Okay. And in doing that, they must see themselves as what? Partners, hmm. companions. Mm. Okay. They're not in competition. The problem we have with a lot of marriages today is that we have moved marriage to a level where there's competition between the husband and the wife. And the wife, okay. Mm. And that is why a lot of homes are breaking up. Mm. So we must remove that. There's nothing wrong with the man being stable. He must have a house, mm. he must have small money. He must have what it takes to, to take care of a woman. To make her, to make her comfortable. Not to Having said that, a man that has potential to get a job but doesn't have a job yet, can why I, not wait till you have a job to get married? Can I come in here? Yeah, how about that? Can I come in here? When I actually my husband proposed and, you know, courtship and all that, he told me something that was very scary. He told me that, yes, <laughs> well, then he wasn't even, he didn't have a house of his own. He was still living with his parents, number one. Hmm. So he now told me, okay, there was this family business and then he was involved in it. He told me that he pays himself 5000 monthly, but he has access to, you understand, but out of um, maybe principles, he pays himself 5000 every month. Can I live with him? Hmm. That was like... You know how they pour ice water on you, of like down, down, the asin. The and reality has done. 5,000 monthly. How are we going to live on that? How? But then there was something, there was a prayer I prayed sometime long ago, before then. I was like, I don't want a man that is already made. I don't want somebody to look at me tomorrow and say, I picked you up on the gutter, I did this, I made you this, I made that. I said, I want someone I will grow up with. And I was like, God, is this my prayer coming to pass mm. here now. Mm. But another thing that gave me confidence was that he had dreams, he had goals, he had this crazy drive. Mm. You understand, this crazy drive. So ah, it was hard, but somehow I felt okay, I, I can bank on it. I, I, I'm not even really the person that would depend 100% on another man. Mm. So I tell myself I'm an asset, mm. not a liability. So mm. even I said at worst, I'm not going to be idle. I'm a pharmacist by profession. Definitely, I will also put my gifting, my skills, my mm -hmm. profession and everything to work. Mm. So based on that, I could hang in there based on that. Is it also possible that we overemphasize this issue of um, the man being employed? You know, I had patients say that if you don't have a job, why not wait to get a wait job? Wait get a job. But then, that, that's is my it, view. Have I you also seen you people... have a job, you 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 have a
and then after wedding, yes, three months after that, the, man, me, the man loses his job. That is a different scenario. What happens after in a marriage is different from what happens before. before you get into a marriage. Everybody can lose a job at any time. It can happen to anybody. That's my view. You know, when you are in the marriage and your man now loses his job or is the other way around, now that is where the support role comes in. But when a man doesn't even have a job already, you haven't gotten started yet you in know, life. The idea I don't of think that any is probably he's comfortable the way he is. Uh, 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 do, do you understand what I mean? That's another thing entirely. But my point of view is, you know, jobs are relative. Yeah. In this kind of economy, you can't just say, I have an employment. Because even your employment is not as certain. Is, it is much more about having something you do for a living. Mm. Which, to be honest, might not be bringing as much money today. Mm. But then, given all of the Eventually, discipline, mm. the upward mobility, the fact that you are developing yourself, mm. there's a future. The question is, can people marry based on hope? rather than what is visible today. Mm. <laughs> Given the fact that, oh, everything is working um, I, I, and they're putting I, all the efforts. I think, I think um, when people marry on hope, mm. two things need to be involved. Mm. The two families must be ready to support that hope. Mm. Mm. And it's very, very important. Mm. Um, if the families don't support that hope, that hope will crumble. Mm. Sure. Mm. So um, it is good, yes. There is, uh, like I keep saying, people don't need to be in a hurry to get married. Don't forget that the day a man takes a woman into his house as a wife, he has said to the father of that girl, I'm taking off the responsibility from you. The full responsibility. Mm. I, want to be, <laughs> I want to be held accountable. <laughs> so if you now take the girl that has been drinking milk, um, conf eating conflicts and all of that. Yeah. And you not bring her in. Okay. Pure water is not there to drink. Oh boy. <laughs> if you talk of Bonvita, you're just looking for mud. Just plain a camel. Even a camel cell. Right? So you, you, the truth is that people. I think that's a crime. Yeah. Well, interestingly, uh, I think that's so. Yeah. Hasn't that been the reality of most successful people? Mm. Who would tell you that my wife was there with me when there wasn't a mattress in my room? Mm. But then she was very supportive. She believed in me. Twenty years down the line, we're living the mm. life. Yeah. So if the woman can't stay when there is pure water. Mm. I mean, who's no, going no, to no, 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 you could be living in your parents' house, mm. but you have something that you're making a little bit of income from. Okay. Mm. That income, you're taking care of yourself, mm. and you still believe you can actually take a little of it to take care of the Someone other person. Yeah. Yes, yeah. you can start from there. Of course. But what we're saying is that you have no job. You have no house. You have no house. You are, you are, you are, with, you are talking with a friend. Then you bring then another one. Uh, you know, that, bros. That's what I'm saying. I it, mean, that no, is wrong. It you is, don't do it that. Is wicked, I'm yes. not saying you have to marry a rich person. That is not it, because you will definitely get it wrong. But even though he's still struggling, you see that he's making efforts mm. and all of that. Then he can talk marriage. Then you can support. But when you, he's not doing nothing, not the, and then you don't have a business getting married. Would you marry a man who is still living in his father's house? <laughs> And would you advise any lady to do that? I think he just qualified that. Yeah. Okay. First of all, what kind of house are we talking about? <laughs> house is that? <laughs> it's not about the ownership of the house. Yes. It's about the quality yeah. of the house. No, 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 no. no, no. no. House is, no. Is like but that's another thing. thing. Like, and that was the case here. Do you get no. not like a ring to yourself or whatever. Yeah, that's that's a different. There's this mindset. We're yeah. looking at family house now. Let us leave. Let us look at the typical you know the family house. You know why? I ask that question. Mm. There's this traditional mindset that a man must leave his father and, and his mother. mother 
and to cling or cleave with a wife. Mm -hmm. it, it is it shows maturity. Mm -hmm. It shows responsibility. How true is but that? But do you also know that that is figurative? Okay. Because some people have left physically, of course, but mm. have not left, left. Mm. 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 in their minds. Mm. I love that. Mm. Yeah. You can also buttress so, that because mm. you can find a guy that is already. In fact, he has been living on his own for a long but time. He calls the mom for everything. He calls his mom for everything. Advice. This one. That. No. 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 Even to give you food. So the cooking the money. Yes. 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 So how much, so how much is how much you give her? Yeah. How did yeah. you and dad is mm. oh, So it's not just a matter of moving from uh, your physical to another. No, you, you, need, you yeah. need to move wholeheartedly. Yeah. Mm. That is what it means. Mindset. That's a valid mm. point. It, what, it means is that, what it means is that the moment you look up to somebody and you say you want to marry that person, you need to begin to cut off crying out loud. relationship with your immediate family. Okay. I always say this to, 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 to my, my, my family member. I said, look, the moment you marry, let your own family see you as the devil and see your wife as the saint. Mm. Mm. That is the way marriages will last. Mm. So if you want something from the husband, <laughs> go to the wife. Mm. Because marriages survive based on the help of the families. Mm. Mm. That's true. If you marry a wife and your family don't like uh. that lady, she will not add weight. It's war. You are, you are looking good. Like if you marry, if your husband was uh, you're coming from a, an in-laws that will come and shout at you, mm. you will lose weight by force. I know that. Ah, hmm. I know. You wake up in the morning and I go, God, another day. Mm. But I'm really bad you know, you know, I, I, knew, I knew my husband was ready to marry. When he took me home the first time, I was all shaky, shaky, shaky. What should I wear? What should I wear? I, I, I like, was like that. I'm not taking you home for them to assess you and I say, I'm just say, taking you to say, I this is this I want to marry. And that was it for me. Okay, yes. In yeah, fact, that will give you so, peace. Exactly. So, you know, already in his mind, yeah. he knows he's not he going to seek his own Exactly. He's not and I think you already know, even from when you're cutting a man, what kind of is he a mama's boy? Is he yeah. the clingy type? You can tell really from hanging out, talking. But the, what, but, you know, my before mother you even said, get into it, you, my, yeah, mother my mother did. said, he's always talking to my mother. My mother said, hmm? And you know, so you no, should but, know. But, but I think the, the, the problem is women. How? Women. You people are a problem. The problem is the society. No, no, no. The women, uh, they, they deceive themselves. And you are on your own? No, 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 no. I, 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 I know. No, no, no. She no, no, no. you know, you knows where I'm coming from. The truth is that women see the handwriting on the wall oh, and they cover it up. That's very true. So, very true. You, know that, you, you know that, first of all, this guy, you've been dating him for two years. Mm. In that two years, he has slapped you five times. Mm. Oh. So you already in, know. That, in that two years, he has shouted at you 100 times. Mm. In that two years, he has embarrassed, embarrassed the public. He's and as far as you're concerned, yeah. he's like, oh. And you're looking forward to him changing. When he's the support of the I'm sorry, I will change him. Men don't change. Mm. Men, don't change. Mm. Men don't change. Let's be sincere with ourselves. Oh, I will pray if you're looking for Mr. Perfect, don't look for the man you can change. You cannot change a man. Mm. Mm. It's the truth. There is no point that changes a man. If a man decides... But if you want to change him, you shouldn't be looking for a perfect man in the first place. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You should be looking for anything. Yeah, anything. And, and then you start changing. So, so when people have that notion that they can change the man, mm. you can't change him. Mm. Deception. You're dating, a, you're, 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 you're dating a man. Your friends come in. The man is looking at them as in... He's sizing them up. He's driving a car. He sees it. He's looking at him. And you're telling me you can That's change wondering it. wondering eye. You're telling me you... <laughs> <laughs> so, so, when it comes to this whole issue, women must realize that, first of all, men are the way they are. Okay. Mm. Men will always be men. Mm. If a man who loves football, mm. and then when they're in Chelsea, or he's maybe seeing his Arsenal, Arsenal is playing, mm. and you come and tell the man you want to watch Telemundo. Mm. <laughs> you, are, you, you, you will just be Trump. shocked at the you have to tread carefully <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. so women must it, it, you know it is a woman that knows what she wants more mm. than a that's man, true. man. Mm. it's true that's true. Let me read this That's message, true. a very interesting message, uh, and also, you, you know, open our eyes to how complicated these issues are. Mm. Find a husband. Finding a husband is hard. It says, number one, you find a handsome one, 
it looks too serious. Mm -hmm. Two, you find a brilliant one, it looks too serious. You find a rich one, it's disrespectful. Mm -hmm. You find a hard-working one, mm -hmm. it never has time for you. You find a serious one, but his ex keeps calling. Mm -hmm. You find a humble one, mm -hmm. he's broke. You find a responsible one, he's not romantic. Mm -hmm. You will find Oh, you find an illiterate one, he always gets angry whenever you correct him. Mm -hmm. Then you find a smart one, but he lies every a time. Lo a lot. How do you makes him smart. manage <laughs> in your pursuit of Mr. <laughs> or Mrs. Mrs. Wright? How do you manage the weaknesses, the inadequacies, the fact that for everyone you say is perfect, there's always an imperfect side of that? Mm. Let me start with you, man. You need a skill of preference. I love that. You need a skill of preference. You need to decide what you can deal with and, and what you, you cannot manage. You mm. can't take it. Mm. Mm. Sincerely. Because if you you dabble into anything and then you are somebody that you can't stand. Like there, there are women that are very um, possessive. Mm -hmm. They can't stand it. They can't imagine it. Even the secretary in the office is talking with the husband.